lost power, guys. So that's gonna, if the K2 goes off, we don't have any yeah, There's an electrical storm out and we lost power. Now, how is this not a setting of a good horror movie? Outside is just freaking crazy. Look at this electrical storm, guys. This is just unreal. And the town, this block just lost power. Jeez. Look at this. My paranormal people, what is going on? Thank you for joining us on this new paranormal road trip. And uh, we're back here in Belleville, Texas. Uh -huh. Doesn't it seem like we were just here? It seems like we were yeah. just, yeah, it feels just like, here. It feels like we didn't even leave. Like five minutes ago, it seems like we were here. <laughs> we're back at Huff Brewing Company. How could we leave? Why would we want to leave? Why would we can't get enough Huff? Can't get enough Huff. Man. So guys, uh, we're back in, in uh, Belleville. We were in, actually on the last investigation. Yeah. We found a new place to investigate. In fact, it was part of our trip flashback. I will include a link up here. Click on it, check it out, go give it a like and comment on that EVP that was yeah. caught there. Yeah. So we're gonna be exploring this old building tonight, which uh, was supposedly actually, the old hospital? Actually, it is the um Actually, the first hospital yeah, in Belleville. So before they built all the new ones, the very first one for the city of Belleville, this particular building, that was it. And so far, as all I know was that there was a little boy, a little, a little boy, away, and that's that's about all the information. Yeah, but absolutely, we're gonna find out more about it as we go on tonight. Mm -hmm. We know it's it, from her experiences that it's pretty haunted. Mm -hmm. You know, right. there's a lot of stuff that happened there. In fact, they moved. They already moved her inside a new building, which ironically, and she didn't even know this, yeah. it's uh, the building right next to what used to be the old bar where right. that murder happened that we discussed on the previous trip oh, flashback, yeah. which again, click on the link, man, watch it. If you haven't watched it, check it out. It's really, really cool. But uh, before we head out there, we're going we're gonna to have a few beers because, man, it's a scorcher tonight. And uh, cheers. Cheers. Oh, and also we're gonna have some tacos because man, how was the how were the tacos? They were very good. It's El Grillos. No, it's Rio Tacos. Grillo Tacos Grillos. or Rio Tacos? They, 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 they're here pretty regularly. And uh, we know it's called Rio Tacos because our, our good friend Nando actually yeah, told us. In fact, he's today. gonna jump in. Say hi, Nando. Hey! hey. So, hey. So, hi, everybody. This is actually the first video I've ever been. Hey, you got nervous. It happens. <laughs> I get it, it, it happens. It happens, guys. So hey, we're gonna about to head over there and meet our contacts. We're gonna. It's gonna be an awesome investigation. But before we go out there, guys, did you know there's a freaking castle here in Belleville? Check it out. Check out the castle, and then we're gonna head out and do the investigation. So come along with us as we go check out the Newman's Castle. Here you go, guys.
All right, guys. Hey, what y'all think of the castle? Loved it. Awesome, oh, awesome trip, man. I, I hope you guys enjoyed it. What, what an awesome place, guys. Definitely need to go check it out. It looks like it's about to storm, which yeah. could, could help be, yeah. could be with very the investigation. Yeah. So it's time to go meet up at the old Southern Trends building. Yeah. Meet up Megan, and uh, let's get this investigation going. I think we're gonna have a uh, crowd, uh, an audience, with us. So let's, yeah, let's 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 get this investigation on. Mel, what do you think? Here is Megan with Southern Trends. We're back. Yay. We're back again from yeah. the last time we met up with you. But now we're inside the actual old building where you were at originally. But before we go into, into that, Megan, what is Southern Trends? It's a lifestyle boutique that I started about eight years ago. It's um, fashion geared towards women. It's really, really fun. We keep it really fun in the store and we'd love to have anyone in. Come check us out. Absolutely. You have a website? Yes, it's Southern Trends, the number four, the letter U.com. Either way, we're going to provide it a link down at the bottom so you can check it out, so you can see what Southern Trends has. I don't know it's going to be so much for me and you, Rodney. What do you think? I, I don't think. But hey, we'll, we'll swing by anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. We might find it. <laughs> so, Megan, you were here in this building, the yes. original building of Southern Trends. Do you know the history? This is the original hospital that was here in Belleville. Um, that's about all the history I've gotten with the space. I know it's been many other things since the hospital, but I know that a lot of people have had some weird stuff happen to them when they've leased this part of the building. Okay, so they say it, things happen here. Do you oh, yeah. know why it could be? I mean, do you have any um, information on that? We are guessing that there's a small boy and um, a middle-aged woman that maybe stayed down here below. The boy is kind of a prankster, and the woman sometimes talks through our speakers and does some other other things. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, it, do you know why there would be a boy here? Did he die yes. here? Or yes, did... we believe that there was a little boy that died of appendicitis down here, is what um, somebody had told me, because we had, there were contractors that came in and redid this building, and that there was some really weird stuff happening to them, so one of them got curious and did some research and he thinks it was a little boy that died in here from the appendicitis. He would literally run by the racks and push all the papers. They literally watch the papers. And, and if you uh, and you said when people said I don't believe in you or well, what were they what would they say? We literally had one customer if they that challenged them? here that said there's no ghost in here, I don't believe in ghosts. There's nothing in here and right in front of our face Fine. he took the racks and just moved all the cocaine. And she said and then the old elevator is where our bathroom was, and they're saying the female passed away in that bathroom. Oh, wow. And that's why she's still down here. Okay. Yes. And so how long were you, were y'all working? Seven years. For seven years? Yes. How active was it? What, how oh, often did y'all experience? There was times where we'd go with nothing, and then there would be times that there would be high activity for weeks on weeks. Okay. Um, and it got a little, a little what was the most recent experience that you, that you can remember? Um, I was sitting back, I have a desk behind a, a divider, a, a room divider, and a hanger came up and started scratching on the glass, and I kind of balled up in my chair, and I just said, hey, you're really scaring me, will you please stop? Wow. And they stopped. Okay. So the little divider was uh -huh. my office, and then the shipping area, we'd have tissue paper that would come up and float. Uh, you'd have hangers that would randomly, like if someone ran by them, they would click, 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 click. Um, we had shoes and purses get thrown across the room, and in the bathroom they liked to have on the walls. Oh wow! Yeah. Can you show us some of the places Absolutely. where you had experiences yeah, at? Okay. Let's do it. Let's okay. go check it out. So this is my office, and my desk is back here. And our shipping side, shipping area was on the other side, so they would do stuff on this glass to okay. freak me out. And there, I mean. So yeah, you would hear and scratch on it or tap. Um, ah. The other side is easier to scratch, but then you sure. see tissue paper coming up and you hear it. Wow. Yeah. yeah. But the bathroom, but most of the girls would turn the lights off because they uh -huh. go back there at night. Oh wow. Yeah, and I'll show you back. Yeah, let's check it out. So this is where all the banging would happen. And also. Um, I come in and there'd be bowls out of the shelves broken on the ground and stuff. Uh -huh. It was crazy, but this is where the pounding on the walls would happen. Wow. Okay. Yeah, crazy. Let's 
just the bathroom. Just the bathroom. <laughs> Is there anything upstairs? A business, people yes, living? Yes, there's up a loft upstairs and there's a couple office buildings and I've heard that the, it's very active where the nursery was uh -huh. and there was actually maybe some contractors that didn't want to finish the job because oh, there were wow. babies crying. Oh, what they did here was babies crying. Wow. And I don't know, that might just be a rumor, but that's that's a word on the street. But actually, that, isn't that what we heard, Rodney? Remember when we were next door and there were yes. they were heard babies crying? Yes. That's what brought us that's exactly yeah. what they were saying. Yeah. Oh, and sometimes there was some people up there that were really into what they called ghost hunting. Uh -huh. And they said they caught a nurse up there in the old nurse's garb with the cross on her on her hat, um, walking back and forth and you hear her feet creak oh, on the ground. Wow, yeah. that's great. Where's the old elevator? Is it this, this was So the this elevator. would have been the elevator. Yes. Oh this wow. Would have been the okay. Yeah, there was a guy he mentioned the elevator and they said that this area had yeah. issues, had some problems going on. Yeah. Oh that's so, funny. And this yeah. is somebody that he, he doesn't know who you are. Right. Just know who that. Has yeah. anything followed you at the other building yet? Nothing. We've had no problems at the other building, nothing. So it's nothing. been like almost nice. I don't want to say that because I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings in here. But, but but oh, I haven't yeah. had the same feelings that I've had this building sure. just really at night. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Now you're moving because not because of the no, activity. Um, we needed a, a cheaper lease. Got it. Yeah. After Got seven it. years of sure, sure. increases, we yeah. just needed something cheaper. Okay. And maybe a little bigger space that we could be a little bit more creative. There was no bad energy here. It was just. You, you no, mentioned it was just more more like prankster. -ish. Prankster. It was yeah, totally just kind prankster. Of... Um, we have a very prominent online store where we ship hundreds of orders every week, and we'd go to pull something and it'd be missing, and I'd be like, "Someone stole it! Someone freaking stole it!" Well, then I would go to like redo the store, and we'd have these really high shelves, and uh -huh. I'd go up there, and there'd be a necklace and a ball up there. Oh wow! Like, so, and the people before us. She had issues, and that's why there's a lot. I was going to ask you why that was locked, because I don't think it was just because it would fall open. Uh -huh. Well, damn. Wow. This storm just rolled in. Thank God we left the brewery just in time. We weren't expecting this. But it's going to help. This might help. Yeah. So we left a lot of our equipment out in the car. We're not. There's no way we're going to run and grab it right now. But, oh, no. uh, <laughs> no, hell no. Plus, we don't want it to get wet. So we're gonna work with what we got. We got all these people sitting in there waiting for us. So let's just say, let's go dark, let's go right? Do and let's just do it for now while we got all this crap. Man, it is storming out here, guys. Lightning like crazy. Let's get the lights off. Let's just see what we can get while the getting good. Let's do it. Here we go. Go check it out. Hold on. <laughs> hey, we were about to start, and Mel heard some footsteps in the back as he was turning off the the lights in the uh, in the back. So we're gonna go check it out. Oh, really? Yes. I was telling Gabe when I walked out of here just now after turning the light out. It's like there's just footsteps that followed me right out. Yeah, that's, that would happen a lot. Or they would be outside the door while you're going to the bathroom and you could hear them pacing right here back and forth. I just got really EBG right here. Is there a little boy back here? Were you just walking around? I feel like it's the lady that comes back here. Is there anybody back here that just walked out as Mel walked in? If you're back here, can you knock on that wall? Are you mad we're leaving? If there's something you need to say, please do it tonight. Do it right now. Ronnie, is that doing that on some? Huh? Is that doing that on some? Yeah. Are you ultimate? I'm holding it. Okay, I see it, but I didn't feel it. Yeah. I didn't see anything attached to it. Yeah, no, I'm holding it. It's just, I'm just keeping it still. It's just passing through whatever it is. Do we know what the lady's name was? I don't know what the lady's name was. I would love to know. I just got a really weird name that I just heard in my head, but it's like, it's sort of out there. What was it? Evangeline. 
That is pretty out there. It's out there. There she yeah. is. That's kind of cool. I love that. Hey, 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 uh, Rodney, do you think that lightning went off right when your cake? The lightning went. It, do you think it, it would the affect? Lightning went, but when it went away, it like the peg right up again. Evangeline, Evangeline, is that? Are you the nurse that was here? I would maybe even step into the bathroom because that's where we always have the most stuff happen. Let's let's go into the bathroom. Maybe. I don't think it, Evangeline was the name of the nurse, but Evangeline is the name of another lady. Yeah, I think that maybe she died in here. I mean, it's possible Very like lots of people die in hospitals, but it's such a strange name. But I don't think she's the nurse. She's probably moved into the other room or next door. Too many people, do you think? This is, I, this is, she was over here more than she was. Oh, here she's back. Hey, do you think maybe there's too many people here at one time that's kind of intimidating? Maybe, but it just lit up. Megan, she used to. Remember how she walked like between the yes, between the bathrooms, two buildings. between the um, these are both the same kitchens. They're connecting through one wall. You could literally tell when she was going back and forth between them. Yes, girl, she's cooking. The lightning. lightning. That one was. That wasn't. We lost power, guys. So that's gonna, if the KQ goes off, we don't have to move here. There's an electrical storm out and we lost power. Now, how is this not a setting of a good horror movie? Outside is just freaking crazy. Look at this electrical storm, guys. This is just unreal. And the town, this block just lost power. Jeez. Look at this. Hey Mel, what do you think of the storm? I think the storm is cool. Oh, it looks like there's some lights that came back on. This is not planned. This, this is wonderful. This makes for great ghost town. It's just. An awesome backdrop to For an sure. investigation. I had no idea it was going to be so. I mean, look, this is an electrical storm that we're surrounded by. I mean, it's non-stop electricity, non-stop lightning. Sure. This is crazy. So we got our first part of the investigation in. We didn't get a lot of activity. You heard some footsteps. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Oh, that was close. Oh, wow. So Please let's let's him right there. Let's. We're, we're, we're about to. Uh, we're going to include everybody. We're going to come into the main part of the building, and we're going to try to make contact here with everybody surrounding us, especially with all this lightning this going off. This is crazy. Just here, let's check it out. So there was a shadow. Uh huh. So stand over there. Yeah. There, I'll give you some. So stand right there, and they were talking about that creeper. Uh huh. And then there was a shadow out of a human being in the head. What? About this level. So I don't know. I could. I didn't feel like it was on the inside of the building, but yeah. it was just a part of the glass. And I didn't think it was a shadow. It wouldn't be shadow play with all the. Look at look how look how much it's flashing. Um. Wow. Okay. So like boy size, maybe? Boy size, boy size huh? Oh, boy size. Yeah. yeah. Good to know. But it was funny because you said, is there a creeper, is there a creeper? Yes, I feel like there's a creeper. That so I looked, up, like I looked over here and I'm like, oh. And you saw the creeper yeah. going. You or whatever. Something. Wow. So we're all sitting here in the main hall, the main area. We got the ramp pod going. Now between all of us and all this lightning show going on, I think that's enough energy, Mel. What do you think? To uh, at least hear something. So let's everybody focus on the the spirits or the entities that are here that want to that have been here that are not shining. Let's let's focus on them communicating with us like a, a concentrated manifest. You know what I mean? And let me preface this too for any energies that might be here. 
me including a couple other people here, are a little skeptical. We don't believe that something's actually going on here. If you can show us, I'll be more than happy to document it. You know, don't, 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 don't even think that way because, you know, we're just picking one random night out of the yeah. year to come experience it. If nothing happens, then nothing happens. It's no big deal. And it doesn't work on command. It doesn't work on command. No, yeah. that's exactly. That'd be way too easy. Like, we had a shipping area where, like, there was a table with, like, tissue paper and we'd rack the things and then put them in the package. And you could sit there on the other side of the glass and watch the tissue paper move. Like, it was all the time. If you don't want us here, if you don't want any of us here, if there's too many people, all you have to do is make a sound. Give us a sign. If you let us know, we'll leave. But you have to let us know. Don't text us. Just let us <laughs> Let's, let's wait no, for them to come up. No, it's soaking wet feet. No way, is it? Yes. At the water. I sit at the water. These are my feet prints. Oh, wow. Is it, it dripping? Is it dripping water? No, it's not dripping from anywhere. No, where would he? But I have to pee. It never flooded back here. You got it. Oh, and crap. Like a right there. Yeah, there's... There's going to be somewhere. What do you think? No, we always yes. see in there be random wet puddles. Oh, really? Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah, but there's a lot of water here. A lot. I mean, if you say that's your But it has been storming outside. No, it just. I mean, interesting. you don't know. It's interesting. Hey, what do you guys think so far, man? You would think, with all the freaking lightning storms we have going Man, on, that's what I thought. It would really start picking up. Yeah, because we're inundated by lightning. With this much lightning, it wasn't exactly. just a storm. Look at that. It, it's like this electrical storm that we were surrounded by. It's that's, crazy. That's what I say. If every investigation had this kind of ambiance, that Gee. would be awesome. The water came from the bathroom. That is crazy. Because we were all just in the bathroom and there was that, so that cold spot. Cold, the cold spot, spot the cold. water. Now, me and Mel thought we heard what sounded we like a voice. Heard, we both heard the same thing at the same time. I mean, you described what I heard. I, I heard and it. I didn't want to tell you what I heard because I wanted you to tell me what you yeah, heard. Yeah, no, I heard uh, it. was, uh, uh, yeah, that, that was strange. We got a big group with us tonight and there's really echoey in there. Very but at the same time, I think we're it's it's we're doing a pretty wow. good job. Electrical storm here tonight. <laughs> it's wild. It's Jeez, beautiful. it actually feels really good out here. The breeze <laughs> yeah. feels good. The whole town 
Wow, more lighting. Yeah. The whole town lost power, uh, except of course the building across the street, which is the courthouse. So they're on uh, generator. the generator, so they have to stay on. But the rest of the town, completely dark. Completely dark. So we're about to do this again. Let's go back in there and uh, get the second part of the investigation going. Let's yeah. see what we can capture. Let's see if we can get let's, some stuff. Let's do this. <laughs> I mean, you know what, there's the, the ball characteristics. There's something with the ball that will make it come back when it stops, watch. It's not... Unless the little boy picks it up and throws it. Now, if, if that happened, then that'd be crazy, but... I don't know. I didn't see it. I missed it. Supposedly the ball was kicked and rolled, and it rolled back. Is there anybody here? still here with us we don't have a lot of time left we'll be leaving soon and these ladies will also be leaving soon and you won't get to see them anymore can you walk upstairs and bang on the pipes Walls. air ducts stomp around look can you do this Breaks. Is it? Yeah. Mel, mm -hmm. at least there's no uh, train. What the f was that? What was that? Is that a mouse? Oh my god, you know what? Was that the scrape on the, on the wall? Like a squeak. Yeah, like I heard something. That was a scrape on this, this wall it right was. here. It was. I was sitting back, I have a desk behind a a divider, a, a room divider, and a hanger came up and started scratching on the glass and I... Holy... Is that what it sounds like? That sounded just like a scrape on that... Can you please do that again? Every time. Every time we were talking about something... That's good. It happens, yeah. That's why I wanted all of us to go over there and talk and see something. But look, now... When we were least expecting it... That sounded just like a scrape on that, on that glass. I broke your glass. Scrape on it. I was recording too. I got it. If that was you making that sound on this glass partition. Can you can you please do it again? Can you please push something over? I was thinking the same thing the first time. Never seen a mouse in here. The first time I heard, I thought I was thinking it was a mouse. And we have the exterminator here today. Train. 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 Guys, awesome, what an awesome investigation. <laughs> Woohoo! We, we, we heard a couple things, we experienced, eh, whatever, but how was that storm, man? Oh, it was awesome. It was awesome. Dude, oh, it was awesome on beyond. Everybody that joined us, everybody that came with us. It definitely highlighted the experience. Uh, it made it a, a much better, probably a show for everybody. Yeah. It was, it was amazing. Well, it seemed like a scary night. It was the a power scary night. Yeah. The power yeah. went off in the town. It was so much fun. Megan, cool. thank you for like Absolutely. Southern Trends. You guys need yes. to come, but, but bring your wives. You guys need to come and check it out. Yeah. You know they're, they're at a new building, but she's got a lot of good stories to tell you about this place here. And even though we didn't experience much, this place is awesome. 
Thank you, Megan. Yes, absolutely. So much Thank fun. You, Thank you for joining us. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope yes, everybody else yes. enjoyed it. We had a big old party. Again. Yeah. I hope we can do this again. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. When's the next one? Where are we going? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll let y'all know. Stole Kansas. Tell me. <laughs> Stole Kansas. When we expand, when we, and we will eventually, Road he's trip. coming with us. Road yeah. trip. Road trip. Road trip to Kansas. We're doing it. Thank you guys. Thank you for joining us. We had a lot of fun. So much fun. And uh, we hope to see you guys on the next road trip. Peace. Peace. Give that slap. <laughs> Give that slap, Ronnie. So here we are. Here we are again, back at Huff Brewery. Yes. A couple months after the investigation. And we're still coming back. And we're, oh, why wouldn't we come back here? I, I just love this place. And the beer, I'm drinking the Old 300. And uh, the Huffmeister. The Huffmeister, oh man. The, the Old 300, it's a little cooler outside. The last time we came, it was a scorcher outside. Remember how hot it was? Yeah, it was. Jeez. Way too hot for me. Yeah, and we did the investigation. And I think the highlight of that investigation was the storm that rolled in. Okay. Let me tell you about that. Because that. I've never had experience an electrical storm where literally every time the, the lightning bolt yeah. goes off, every freaking hair on your arm, head, back, chest, whatever, and, but I don't care, it just stands up on it. And if you saw the video, if you watched the video, man, it was lightning constantly. Yeah. I mean, and then the town, the whole power went off yeah, all over town. Right. So, I mean, it was ideal for, if not an investigation, at least for a good horror, horror movie. You know, I, I could have swore a slasher was going to come out because we had beautiful girls with us. You know, we were out there looking for ghosts and, and the power goes off. And man, I, I really, I thought we were going to cap, capture more than what we experienced. It was a quiet night, but again, as we've gone through this before, you kind of have to expect that. Not every time that you go somewhere, there's going to be crazy activity. There's going to be demon here and polar guy standing. It just doesn't happen that way. But we did hear a couple things. Yeah, uh, we had some good. We had some, we caught some noises. Uh, we couldn't explain. Um, we heard that scratching in the partition. Yes, you that, know we are on that. Which was one of the claims that uh, Megan used to hear that. We heard it that night. You might wear your headphones. If you didn't wear your headphones, put them back on. Check it out because you can hear a light scratching. Man, I was kind of thinking it could be a mouse. But it did sound like it was coming from that partition. I mean, there was room on the other side of that. You, you'll see it on the videos. Yeah. There's room on the other side. There's no, there, yeah, you wouldn't be able to see it. If it, was in your mouth. It, it sounded like it was coming from the partition. It, it really did. It sounded like it came from that little wall. But yeah, I'll check it out and let us know what you think. Uh, also, that group, uh, when we weren't filming, they claimed that the ball that they rolled out rolled back to them. Yes. Now, we didn't catch it on camera. I was trying to debunk it. I thought maybe the ball was a little warped. No, the ball was and, fine. And that it would probably, if we rolled it out, it would give a wobble and roll back. No, it was easy. But it didn't do it. Yeah. So, uh, the floor was level. The floor was completely was level. level. So, I, I don't know. We didn't, on that. we didn't capture it on camera, so it's a personal experience. You know, take it for what it's worth. And now, and there's also a theory that, that, that says that the spirits could have used all that electrical energy to manifest. They, they really didn't manifest that, that night no, as much. And I know Megan was a little disappointed, but don't be disappointed, Megan. It happens. You guys work there day in, day out. Of course you experience things. We just picked one night out of the year yeah. to uh, come investigate. And we picked up a couple things, and that's that's to be. Uh, actually, I, I'm happy with that. I'm happy, I'm happy with it. I really it enjoyed it. Fun. Oh, it was a yeah, great a experience, man. The whole time coming out here, every time we come here to Belleville, it's awesome. The, the, the jail house. The, uh, the jail house that we and I'll, I'll, I'll put a link here if you didn't watch it yes. uh, uh, check it out but the castle I hope you guys enjoyed the trip to the castle how awesome how beautiful the castle is and just uh, Belleville in of itself man friendly people especially here in Huff Brewery all these friendly people <laughs> great time our good buddy Nando who helped us out on the on the uh, our video last time he was our little buddy who shot a lot of the b-roll out here in the brewery say hi Nando so, <laughs> I have no stage fright anymore. <laughs> he did have stage fright the first yeah. time. That's funny. Well, guys, man, I hope you enjoyed this video. We wanted to keep it nice and short because, you know, we got some food and we got some beer. 
But man, guys, stay safe. Let us know what you think about the evidence, about the video. We hope you click that like and subscribe because it's gonna help us out a lot. But we want you guys to be safe, be healthy, because we definitely want to see you on the next road trip. And maybe we'll see you here in Belleville because we love yeah. coming here. All right, so guys, take care. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Hey, paranormal people, one quick epilogue before we wrap this video up, and it's something that completely caught me by surprise. Uh, as you watch the video, uh, during the walkthrough of the building as we were getting the background information, I did include some spooky sounds of your children laughing and, and one of a child crying, just to add to the spooky effect uh, of the story that they were telling us. Now that was added in. I, I did include that, those sound effects, th those sound bites uh, while I was doing the editing. But what did catch me by surprise was when we were leaving, when we were wrapping up, you hear a voice that sounded like a child. I had a lot of good stories to tell you about. Now that was not added in by me. That was not a sound effect or or a uh, sound bite that's actually part of the video and i didn't catch it which is what prompted this quick video here and as you notice me and rodney didn't talk about it on our wrap-up discussion when we were at the brewery we didn't even bring it up because to be honest with you i didn't even know it was there uh i was just doing some quick touch-up uh edits and i heard that and it kind of surprised me because I didn't catch it the first time. And we definitely didn't hear it there. And I can tell you right now, the five people that you saw doing a wrap up, we were talking, we were the only ones left in the building. Everybody had already left by then. So again, as I usually do, as I always do, I'm gonna leave it up to interpretation. Let me know what you guys think. Seriously and honestly, uh, does it sound like a child? It, it does to me. And, and to be honest with you, I, I can't explain it right off the bat. Still not going to claim it's anything paranormal. But uh, I just wanted you guys to know that it wasn't intentionally put in there. Uh, it's on the actual raw footage. And I want you guys to uh, decide what you think it is. So anyway, thanks again, guys, for lasting this long. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Take care, be safe, we love you.